Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Michael Weir. I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Ingram Micro, here to talk to you today about Okta and Yubico and their integration together. Very quick agenda for today. First, we're just going to talk about what are Okta and Yubico. Some people would phrase that as who are. I'm just going to go with what here. Once again, please leave comments if you find that annoying. Uh, second, we're going to do a configuration and a demonstration of how it works. And then third, I'm going to make some conclusions about this solution for you. So first, what are Okta and Yubico? Now, from how we're talking about them right now, we're looking at them as parts of identity and access management solution. Uh, for your zero trust access framework. So Okta is our IAM half. It's the, it's the industry leader for IAM solutions. Doesn't matter which industry survey or paper or what else you look at, they're always in the lead. Uh, they're a totally cloud-based service. Nothing you have to install on-prem unless you want to for your legacy apps. They offer the f total package when it comes to IAM. So they have SSO, they have MFA, adaptive MFA as well, lifecycle management, unified directories, more everything you could possibly have for IAM and 7,000 plus pre-made application integrations. Uh, Yubico is a industry leading maker of hard tokens, one of the most deployed hard tokens in the world used by, you know, plenty of Fortune 100, Fortune 50 companies. They come in multiple form factors, multiple protocols, uh, anything from your normal USB stick to uh, NFCs to little HSM modules, what have you and they're fully customizable. They work on all industry standard protocols and can output uh, information to tons of different formats so you can integrate them into whatever you need to integrate them in. Now those may both sound great, say, well, why do, especially Okta, well, why does Okta need Yubico? Things along those lines. What it comes down to is this, is Okta is an industry-leading identity and access management solution, but they are cloud-based, they are operated from the cloud, and as such, they have no actual physical hard tokens. They rely on other vendors to integrate for that. Their adaptive MFA can be done, you know, through an app on your phone, can be done through, uh, you know, facial recognition, sent passwords, uh, you know, regular passwords, security questions, all that sort of thing. But there's no physical hard token you can put your hand on to get that level of resistance to, you know, phishing and uh, smishing man in the middle, that sort of thing. Um, Yubico, on the other hand, as I said, is industry leading hard tokens, but they are just the token. They are not part, they don't have their own native IAM solution. They need someone else to operate the IAM side of things. And that is where Okta and Yubico come together to create the solution that I'm going to configure and demonstrate for you. Uh, we're doing this whole thing in the framework, just a little bit of background before the demo, we're doing this whole thing in the framework of uh, NIST. They say, NIST says MFA is something you know, something you have, and something you are. And to be MFA, you've got to choose at least two of those things. So know is like a password, have is a hard token, R could be facial recognition or something like that. Two out of three of those and you get MFA. The solution we're looking at here with Yubico and Okta, we're leaving out the R part, we're just doing a no and a half. So how it's going to flow is I'm going to have a user, in this case it'll be Jane at sales.com, who is going to connect the Pol Okta, the Okta Cloud chooses the policy that applies for this situation. It's going to ask her for a password. And then it's going to ask her in the first swipe through to set up the YubiKey and second through swipe through, ask her to touch the YubiKey, tap the YubiKey in order to have her password be entered. And then there's success and you're logged in in a very secure way. So let's see how that works. The uh, Okta environment we're in is a simulation of a car dealership that I've already set up a number of different things in. What we're going to work on now is the multi-factor authentication part, which is where we're in integrating the YubiKey. Now, Yubico and the YubiKey is a pre-made integration into Okta where you just need to provide the seed file to the YubiKeys that you want to put into your Okta instance. To get that seed file, we use the free Yubico customization tool, personalization tool. Uh, what this does is lets you put on custom seeds, custom settings, what have you, onto your YubiKey. Now, when you insert the YubiKey, it automatically detects it, automatically pulls in your current settings. Now, um, what we're going to do, YubiKeys actually have two configuration slots available. Uh, you can put two configurations on any given one at any time. I haven't used this for anything yet, and I don't intend to use it for anything other than this Okta demo. So I'm going to go ahead and just clear out the configuration that's on there in slot one. I'm going to put my new configuration for this Okta demo onto slot one. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to generate ourselves some random parameters here. Once we have those generated, we're going to write the configuration to the key. Now, when you write the configuration to the key, uh, it will well, I'll give a warning. You're overwriting, etc. It will put that put out a file in a Yubico format, which is something that's selected under the settings. It's what um, Okta is looking to have put in for it to understand the key. And as I said, it can just be imported straight in. So we're going to import that. Uh, 
we're uploading it and there's only one so it's fast to success and now we can view the uh, report and see that my YubiKey is in there now the YubiKey is presently inactive but it's unassigned so um, as it says no user unassigned status unassigned it's waiting to be given for a user Octa knows this is my YubiKey and it is listening for it so now I'm going to set up a multi-factor policy right now I'm just using Octa verify with a couple of different optional pieces there what we're going to do is we're going to take and make this YubiKey, we're going to change it from optional to required. This says the next time someone logs in, even though we already have the other factors taken care of, make them set up a YubiKey as well. Now that I've got that all configured, we're going to go over and we're going to print the uh, Jane Sales logging in. So Jane at sales.com. We're going to put in our password. Now I put in the code I get from my uh, OctaVerify, which is a TOTP, it's just an app on my phone. Uh, there's no SMS messages or pushes or anything else going on. And of course it changed, I just go to type it in. There we go. Verifying it. Now this is where it says I have to also put in my YubiKey. So I've inserted my YubiKey into my laptop. So I tap it and it puts in the verification address right there. Or I should say puts in the, uh, the, the uh, verification code there. And we're in. I can look over here in Octa. I can look at my multi-factor, my factor types. I can go to my YubiKey report. And now that YubiKey that was previously unassigned has automatically been assigned to Jane Sales. And its status has been updated to active. Heading back to Jane's experience. Now next time she goes to log in, I'm going to do Jane at sales.com again. We're going to put in her password, which works much better when you put in the right password. There we go. Now, once again, click in the box, tap my YubiKey. And we're in. Now, we didn't have to do the TOTP there because there's another setting I have on it. It says you only have to do it once every, I believe it was five minutes I set it for. But this is just to show you the YubiKey experience. So there we go. So here are a couple of conclusions I would bring on this. I think that this is really a perfect combination when it comes to IAM and ZTA. These are two parts of your secure solution. Uh, there's pre-made integration, 7,000 of them without paying any extra inside Okta. And of course, as you saw me setting up there, the YubiKey is compatible with any kind of standard you want it to be compatible with, output to whatever you want. Um, and of course, the tool for YubiCode, the customization tool is also free. There's no extra payment on top of that after you buy your keys. It's a very simple deployment, as you saw. I could literally just take a hard token, mail it to somebody, set up an Okta. Hey, these people are getting the tokens. These are the approved tokens. They put it in, automatically gets assigned to them. Uh, it's super simple deployment, simple, easy, uh, super easy to do that at scale, too. If you suddenly, you know, like we had a few years ago, a situation where everybody suddenly needs hard tokens because they're working from home, and you don't want to have just a text message or something else come through that can be intercepted, there's your hard token right there. And single management console, once you have the Yubico uh, key file generated, all the rest of the management comes straight through the Okta console. It takes over everything from there. You get to use all those application integrations. You can apply, uh, apply two-factor to any of them, leveraging the Okta platform to put that Yubico in there. So I hope that all made sense to you. I know it was a very fast overview, and it was just a very simple side of the integration in a very simple uh, demo environment. If you have any questions on that, feel free to contact me. I'm your presenter here, michael.weirdingermicro.com. Uh, for other vendors that we have uh, for security, I am or otherwise, you can see securitylinecard.com for that. Any additional information or security overviews, trends, things you want on that, Ingram Micro uh, has an Imagine Next site for that there. And of course, general questions, feel free to email cybersecurity at ingrammicro.com. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to realize the promise of technology.